Welcome to Spreadsheet Solving. Now in our video today, we are going to cover an application of spreadsheets known as the College Application Tracker. So you might be at the point now where you are starting to think about or are starting the process of applying to colleges. This is an important time in your life now and one thing is for certain, sometimes it's difficult to organize all the information required for college applications. We've got multiple schools we're applying to. We've got to keep track of what the login and passwords are for the websites for the college applications. We need to know what the application requirements are and whether or not we've completed them. What are the fees? What are the deadlines? Have we completed the particular application? And so there are there's quite a bit that gets involved when applying to colleges. Now the great thing is with Google Spreadsheets, we can create this template that will help us to organize this particular data. And not only that, but with Google Spreadsheets, we can access this framework anywhere and on any device as long as you have internet connection. Okay, so let's take a look. I'll walk you through how this application works. You can then feel free to use this template Go on to our post at www.spreadsheetsolving.com. Feel free to take this template and then modify it however is most suitable to you. Okay, so here's a particular template that we can use. We can, for say college one that you're applying to, you can list the website, the admissions website. Here's a sample one. Enter in what your login and passwords are because a lot of times this is going to be crucial for you to be able to access the admissions website which enables you to apply. Okay, so we'll put in our login, we'll put in our password, and so here we have something saved now in our framework. In this section here, we cover all the requirements for this particular college application. So does college one require a common application? Let's say in this case, yes. A supplement, no but the school does require a transcript. The school will also require an SAT or an ACT score along with, say, two SAT subject tests. The school will also require, say, three recommendation letters and, say, a mid-year report. So you can enter all this data in so that you have a way to keep track of what this particular college requires in its application process. And then at this point, as, your, as the year progresses, you can start to check off all the things that you've completed. So let's say you have finished the Common App. You go on and click Yes. You can say, let's say your teachers or your coaches have filled out their recommendation letters. Click that off as completed. And so as you're going on with this process, you can intermittently start filling in whether or not you've completed the requirements for this application. Another piece of information that may or may not be useful would be to keep track of what the application fees are. Let's say in this case it's $65. And then the last section I view as pretty important because we want to make sure we meet deadlines. So here we can list what the early decision or early action deadline is and what the regular decision is and whether or not there are deadlines for financial aid, the financial aid portion of the application. Now this last column here is a formula and it will only show up as green or completely complete uh, when everything has been done. All the components have been completed. So for instance, let's say every single component has been completed for the school. Let's say you've done your SAT, submitted the score along with the subject test, and let's say your mid-year report has been submitted. At that point, you notice that the last column comes up with a green shaded green. Yeah, why? And at that point, you have completed College One's application. So here we go. Here we go. We've just walked through uh, how you can organize the data for one particular college. Of course, there might be more than one college you're applying to, as shown down here. I'm going to unhide everything and at that point you can see how having a single framework for all your colleges and all the data pertinent to the college application process can become particularly useful. Okay, so if you would like this template, you can download it, save it on your drive, you can access this on our website spreadsheetsolving.com. 
Otherwise, please use it and tweak it and modify it based on your preferences and whatever information is important to you. Okay, of course, feel free to contact us if you have questions. Otherwise, best wishes with the college application process. We'll see you next time.